Hey all you little monsters, this is little monster girl Desi, coming at ya. And today I got a brand new story for you guys, though it will be a bit short. But before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that I finally reached 100 plus subs on here. And as I said before, I will be doing a live stream if I can get that feature to work. If not, I guess I'll just have to do a Q&A speed paint. And with that said, let's get on to the story. Despite it being the happiest time of the year, it seems that this year is a bit more bleak than it should be for my family. And honestly, my mom has been a little bit tense. Things haven't really gone as well as we wanted them to, and I didn't end up getting the job that I wanted. So it's times like these that I like to look back on happier memories. And while I have a lot of Christmas memories, this one definitely stood out to me when thinking back on it. The story begins slightly before I started middle school. I think maybe my last year of grade school. My mom being my mom and being as artsy as she is, decided that we would make some Christmas decorations and stay up late. She found a recipe for a type of stewed bread that <laughs> A type of bread that's used for Christmas stew, but it can also be used as decorations because it's not really something that grows mold on it. I don't know exactly what it's called, so I guess you'll have to look that up for yourself. My mom made the dough, she flattened it, and she let us cut them out and decorate them. Then, while they were in the oven, she decided to serve us a dinner full of sugary snacks. That way we would stay up all night and help her decorate the house. We had snowballs, nutty buddies, sugar cookies, even those little cupcake things. And I'm pretty sure we had caramel corn though. So I partly think that this was to also keep us from eating all the candy canes that were meant to go on the tree. Whenever I look back on that day, I do feel a little bit sad that we don't do stuff like that anymore. But that's mostly because me and my siblings are pretty spread out. When it came time to decorate the tree, we definitely had a lot of fun with that. Hanging up the decorations, wrapping it around the tinsel and the Christmas lights, and then of course putting the star at the top. But to our surprise, when we tried plugging in the lights, none of them turned on. Which was a bit annoying. So the next day, my mom had to go out and buy Christmas lights. I don't think they were very fancy. I don't even think that they had a lot of colors to them. But it was still fun to see them light up finally when we plugged them in. There's always something satisfying whenever you see a Christmas tree light up. The tree had a bunch of different decorations that we collected over the years. Some of them were ones that me and my brother made when we were younger. Others were pretty new. Though it definitely didn't compare to my great grandma's Christmas tree. She had a lot of old stuff and even one of those little Christmas town setups on one of her counters. I always liked visiting her house on Christmas time because she always had some really cool decorations. I honestly don't think that we did much that was very special that year. But we did definitely have a pretty good surprise on Christmas morning. And I'm not really talking about the presents either. Though this was during a period where I stopped drawing a lot. And I ended up falling into a different art obsession, which at the time was actually sewing. My mom had actually bought me a whole sewing kit with some different kinds of cloth. It was pretty fun to use at the time, but when thinking back on it, I kind of feel guilty that she wasted money on it since I pretty much just picked it up one moment and then put it down the next and pretty much never touched it again. And no, the surprise that we got wasn't a new pet, even though that we had constantly begged my mom to get a puppy. Nope, it was when she gave us a bowl full of jelly beans. But not just any jelly beans. As we came to discover, it was Harry Potter every flavor jelly beans. Though I'm pretty sure that they just put all the gross tasting ones inside the bag. If you don't believe me, look it up. They actually did sell it at one point. I don't know if they still sell it, but needless to say, I didn't have much of an appetite after I bit into a throw-up flavored jelly bean. How the heck do you even flavor something like that? 
but it was overall a really good Christmas. And no matter how many times I look back on it, I never get tired of that memory. And especially when times are hard, you definitely need good memories like that to pick you up. And that's all I have to say for now. But anyways, if you like the story, please like, share, or subscribe. And if you guys have Christmas stories of your own, leave a comment down below. I would love to read them. And hopefully, before the month ends, I'll be able to upload the rest of A Christmas Warning. And like I said before, if you guys have any suggestions with creepy pastas, please let me know on my other social medias. And with all that said done, I hope all you jelly beans have a very Merry Christmas. Bye!